I'll show you how to add email aliases in Google Workspace, or formerly known as G Suite. This enables you to create 30 free and unique emails under one user, and you can reply back with the email alias as well. Cool. Tips with punch. All right, to create email aliases in G Suite, or now it's called Google Workspace, it's pretty simple. Just make sure you are on admin.google.com. I'll also leave the link in the description and make sure you have the right account. Then just click on users and select the user you want to add the alias to. So in my case, it's this only one. And then you have this user information. Just click on it. And in here, if you scroll a little bit down, you see alternate email addresses, email alias. So just click on the pen icon and now you can add your alternative email. So newsletter. And now you can see all you have to do is just type in the, the address. It will add the ad sign and your domain automatically. And if you have multiple domains, you can select them here. Then just click on save. Now they say that it might take up to 24 hours for this to actually work. But for me, it worked in a minute. So I just waited a minute or two and then I sent a test email to myself and it worked. So now whenever somebody sends an email to this address, I actually receive it to my uh, personal account, which is the robert at punchsala.com. So now you can see here, I have this test email. Hey, if this video has been useful so far, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Now, if I would uh, reply to this email, the problem is that actually it would come from my robert at punchsala.com email. And I don't want that. I would like it to come back from the newsletter email. So to do that, we need to set this up. So let's do that. So click on this uh, wheel, cog wheel, and then click on see all settings. In here, just click on accounts. And here you have send mail as, and we're gonna add another email address. So you can add here the name. So I'm just gonna add it as a newsletter. And the email will be, and you need to have this checkbox selected, treat as an alias, because that's what it is. Next step, you can see now that you have two emails here and you can also choose the message. So uh, this is useful if you get a lot of emails for both of these, so then you can reply to the same address the message was sent to. So if it's sent to newsletter, then it will automatically reply as that address, which is useful for those that get a lot of emails for both. But I mainly get into my main one, so I'm gonna keep it like this. And now let's go to that test email. And if I now reply to this email, you'll be able to select the email address from here, from the drop down. So newsletter, and now hello, and send it. You can see now that we received an email from newsletter at punchseller.com, which is great, that's what we wanted. The only limitation with these alias is, is obviously that you have one inbox for all, all these emails. So for example, if you have another person taking care of this, then it's not really possible. And in that case, you need to create another user in Google Workspace. By the way, have you considered starting an email newsletter? Well, I've reviewed 16 tools and selected the top five based on different criteria. And one of them is totally free tool to start with. You can learn more about that in the video right here. And if you are new to Google Workspace, there are some great tips and tricks that you really should know about, as they make your life so much easier. More about that in the video right here. Oops.